Great, second run of Tournament Side of Numenera Beta. I'll make a Zack character this time and I will uh, try to pick different choices to see different outcomes and how much the game branches. Well, if I remember the choices I make, I made in the previous game. I have no idea how to do that. Alright, this is new. Uh, this is not new, okay. Let's try a female character this time. Your I wonder if that will actually... Darkness. Aching cold sets into an unfamiliar body. A distant howling surrounds you, louder with each passing second. Insistent and invisible hands slap and tear at the membrane that protects you. I'm not gonna go totally different because uh, as a Jack, I think I will probably have the same uh, things as the nano character, so speed and intellect. More speed than intellect, perhaps. But I won't really go heavily into strength or might. Your first emotion is an involuntary and formless panic. You feel you have forgotten something, something important, as if it once meant the world to you. But the details slip away as you grasp at them. You force your eyes open. A white pink fleshy cocoon surrounds you. Even as you look, a minor rent in its side tears open and the howling wind forces its way inside. I don't remember that. Interesting. The cocoon rips away, gone before you can grab it, spinning you into a dizzying tumble. You are falling, the world many kilometers beneath you. You catch a glimpse of a curved horizon, and also the ground beneath you that is approaching deceptively quickly. Above you, a small moon is slowly collapsing in upon itself. A corona of acid green and black energy playing around its edges. Hmm. I wonder if there is anyone on the moon. The wind buffets you and burns your eyes, but you don't need to see the details of the faraway ground to know you're in serious trouble. You won't survive a fall from this stratospheric height. A part of your frantic mind babbles that technically you probably fell from a thermospheric height. You struggle to stay focused as the ground rushes toward you. Mm. Instinctively, you spread your arms and legs, and they respond sluggishly. You stop tumbling head over heels. Though you are still spinning laterally, that motion has calmed as well and you have space to assess your situation and perhaps to understand the predicament and the body in which you find yourself. Below you, you see a large landmass. A massive ocean dominates the rest of the visible globe, dotted here and there with island chains. Small moons, unusual structures, and strange machines rush past you in glittering profusion as you plummet toward the ground. From what you can see of your outstretched figure, you're wearing a black, body-hugging suit of some sort. Your skin is light brown, and you seem to have five fingers on each hand. A good set of muscles helps control your fall. Not bulky, but well-toned. But you can't examine yourself too closely without losing the little stability you've gained in the fall. You close your eyes and recall, over the wind roaring in your eyes, you were being hunted. The feeling of violation in a place that should have been a sanctuary. Your memory is of a shadowy figure of acid and hate. Something that sought to destroy you utterly. But the emotions attached to this you are not yours. The feelings those of a spectator. But who ran with your legs? Whose adrenaline poured through your veins? You remember reaching an escape tube, and you remember being struck by a tendril of force, and then the fall. The fall. You open your eyes in time to see a riot of color around you, your descent barely slowed, and then agony flares throughout your body as a crunching impact destroys you. The last thing you hear is a rapidly cycling whine of energy, and then, darkness. I really like this uh, character creation we have going. Alrighty. I wonder if... Your name is Last Cast Off. What happens if there is a cast off after you? I guess we'll see. Hmm. 
Okay, I guess my did is go for moderate. Can you hear me? I think he said uh, if he were dead. So, uh, not a bug. Let me put it down. I can't hear anything. Are you even there? Well, if you can hear me, it means you're still alive. But you'd already know that, wouldn't you? Look, I'm just going to assume we're both alive and want to stay that way, all right? Yeah, that's a good assumption. So here's what you have to do. I can't get to you, so you need to build a way up to me. I don't know how you're going to do that. I mean, this is your mind. It's not like I have a map. Ah, this is your mind. I bet your memories are down there. Find them, and you'll repair the path up to where I am. Are... are you there? Uh, I'm talking to myself here. Did you say something? Was was that even you? I can't tell. It doesn't matter. Just build a path up. Then we can face this mess together and you won't be alone. I won't be alone. Alrighty. Looks better than the last time I played it. Probably a placebo though. I don't think they... Upgraded the... Uh... Graphics at all. I don't know. Looks good anyway. Alright, now we'll go for speed. Nice. Again, I'll mostly go speed and intelligence, with some might. So, Nano this time, uh, go for the sieve. Not Nano, Nano was the previous time. Zack, yeah, Zack. I think it's Glaive, Zack and Nano. I had to name them differently. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, new memory. Uh... Hmm, I want some intellect. We'll do that first. Then I'll go speed again.
Hmm. No. Alright, is that it? No. Selector might, god damn it, should have gone uh, speed there. Guess we'll go and elect again then. That was a mistake. So to pick speed as a main. But I think you can change that anyway, so we'll see. The problem is, this is, uh, I think, the better idea, but I did that in the previous playthrough, so... Go for that. Just because I want to see the different uh, choices and how they affect the story. Again, we'll probably change those, but we uh, see. Really cool. All right, we'll use. Uh, hmm. Charming smile. Stealthily. Well, I will play a thief kind of character, but I think I'll be more smooth talking than uh, Delcy. Go with Sarm again. Alright. Description charming. We'll see what the... Uh... Was it 11-11? should be 11-13. That's weird. I think that's another bug. Alright. And I need to pick different options here too, if I remember what options I picked in the previous playthrough. Alrighty. She should have a dialogue here, I'm not sure. That's a bug.
Ok. Cool. Zuit. Start uh, this way. Alright, last time I picked, I think, uh, either this or that. I don't remember. Go for that one. By the way, this is your mind. I'm not sure how exactly the sorrow could be here. Because we know it has a physical form. Okay. Look, quite the well. Now, did I already finish with this? I think so. Yeah, alright. Target out of range, but we can go close. Oh, that's the wrong character. Of course. There that. Speed, yes. Oh, I don't have an action point. Alright, we'll wait for it then. Uh, and you go and this guy. Nope. Yes. Alright, now do it. This... Righty, and now we'll need to go over here. Interact with that in the next round. Do the same to this guy. 